Israel is the second most aggressive nation with an active program to systematically steal American technology with both military and civilian applications. China is first. The Israelis then reverse engineer this U.S. developed technology and use it in their own exports with considerably reduced research and development costs. This military technology sometimes winds up in the hands of a U.S. adversary. For example, Israel used U.S. technology in its Lavi jet fighter development program. Israel then sold the technology to China to help develop their J-10 fighter. A Defense Department report stated that Israel steals information and technology by exploiting the numerous co-production projects that it has with the Pentagon. Placing Israeli nationals in key industries is a technique utilized with great success. And it isn't just the criminals everyone knows about like Jonathan Pollard and Lawrence Franklin. There's this guy, and these two, and especially this company, and this one too. Another example of this is Israeli soldier turned arms dealer turned Hollywood producer Arnon Milchan, who arranged the illegal purchase of 800 Krytron triggers to use in the production of Israeli nuclear weapons. I remember at some point I had asked Arnon about that, uh, being friends, I, I was curious, but not in an accusatory way, I just wanted to know. And uh, he, he said, yeah, I, I did, I'm Israeli, I, that's my country. I, I, you know. I did ask him once, we spoke about something, and he told me um, that he was an Israeli and that, he, and that he, of course, would do these things for his country. You know what? You know what? I did it I for did my, country, for my country, country, and I'm proud of it. The FBI investigated until they stopped abruptly. Many cases of Israeli espionage are dropped under orders from the Justice Department. The Israelis have stolen U.S. secrets and have disclosed them to U.S. legislators. Then together with the Israel lobby, they have undermined U.S. democracy in favor of an Israel-first agenda. Dylan Williams, vice president of J Street, said the spying was one hell of a thank you note to American taxpayers for $3.8 billion of our money every year. Most Americans would be surprised to learn that their hard-earned tax dollars generously given for Israel's security are being used to spy on our country. Is this how you want American tax dollars spent?